sow and oilseed rape. This is a really important crop in the rotation. We can either get our black grass controlled really well uh, in here or we can get it really badly. And as you can see in here, we've got good levels of grass weed control and overall weed control in this crop. That's largely due to the way we're establishing the crop. We're using the Cousins Microwing technique here. So we're only moving three to four inches of soil. And between the rows, we are leaving our crop residue on the surface to suppress weeds, maintain moisture, etc. So we get good suppression of not only grass weeds, but all our broadleaf weeds as well. We look down between the rows, we can see the amount of crop residue there and the cleanliness of the crop in terms of weeds. And we've achieved excellent black grass control in here, one of our worst black grass fields in the last three to four years. One of the other things that we're seeing with the use of the micro wing is the level of cabbage stem flea beetle infection that we get in the crop is extremely low. We do not seem to like the environment we create in the autumn without soil movement, uh, nowhere to hide and live, and we are not getting infections within the micro wing crops, so or at least much reduced infection compared to other establishment techniques. The other thing that we're doing with the micro wing technique, only cultivating to three inches deep, is leaving our biopores, our wormholes intact, and these roots go off down those wormholes, following those naturally, taking the least course of resistance through the soil. All the soil around those wormholes is carrying enhanced levels of MP and K as well, and organic matter, and the plant is able to access that. But we still get good root depth in the soil, even though we're only moving it to three inches deep. So good crop establishment, low levels of pest infection, really good weed control, as you can see behind me, we end up with a really healthy crop of oilseed rape.